So, so far we've figured out similar shapes, how to identify similar shapes, as well as how to find the corresponding angles and corresponding sides of similar shapes. Today, we're just gonna use all that information in order to figure out some word problems with some scale drawings. So a scale drawing is a proportional two-dimensional drawing of an object. Scale drawings can represent objects that are smaller or larger than the actual object itself. A scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements. It shows how a dimension in a scale drawing is related to the actual object. So this right here would be my scale, two inches for every three feet in real life. So two inches on a scale, two inches on the drawing for every three inches in real life. So if you think about architects, what architects do is that they draw floor plans. They draw floor plans in order to help represent the actual measurement for an actual building. So when they go ahead and draw their floor plan, if the building is gonna be 16 feet, they're not gonna draw a floor plan with a length of 16 feet on paper. That just doesn't make sense. So what happened is that proportionally, they scale it down in order to get an actual representation of the real life proportionality. So let's go ahead and see how these, how we would solve a problem like this. The art class is painting, is planning to paint a mural on an outside wall. The figure is a scale drawing of the wall. What is the area of the actual wall? So first we need to figure out what our unit rate is. Then we're going to convert all of those inches uh, into feet. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and calculate our area. Okay, so let's start with our scale. Our scale is two inches for every three feet. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a unit rate. I need to figure out how much is for one inch. So I'm going to divide by two, and then I'm going to divide by two. So three divided by two is going to give me 1.5 feet. So my scale now is for every one inch, it equals to 1.5 feet. Let's go ahead and try that with our width over here. Our width is going to be 11 inches. So we have one inch is equal to 1.5 feet. We have 11 inches. We need to figure out how much feet that will be in real life. So I'm going to multiply by 11 and then multiply by 11. So 1.5 multiplied by 11 is going to give me 16.5 inches, 16.5 uh, feet. There we go, feet to feet, inches to inches. So 11 inches is gonna be equivalent to 16.5 feet in real life. Let's go ahead and try another one. One inch and then 1.5 feet. We need to figure out how much is for 28 inches. So I'm gonna multiply by 28 here and then I'm gonna multiply by 28 here. So 1.5 times 28 is going to give me 42 feet. Okay, so this is equivalent to 42 feet. Now, I'm just going to figure out the area. Area is equal to length times width. So for my length, I have 42. And then for my width, I have 16.5. Now I'm just going to simply multiply those. So 42 times 16.5 is going to give me 693 feet squared. Okay. There are a couple of things I want you to notice here. Notice how I have to turn everything into feet first and then multiply in order to get the area. Keep in mind, I can't do 28 times 11 and get inches squared and then try to multiply that by 1.5 because there's no way to convert feet, uh, inches squared into feet squared. So we couldn't really do that. Okay. Now, is there another way I could have solved this uh, proportion? I could have went directly actually. So two inches and three feet. Um, if I know for sure that this is 28 inches, I could have just simply multiplied by 14 and multiplied by 14. And then I could have still gotten 42 feet. And then similarly, I have two inches and then three feet. I could have just said two times what number is going to be equal to 11 inches. And I know for, for sure I could just multiply that by 5.5. So 5.5 times 2 is going to give me 11. Also, 5.5 times 3 
is going to give me 16.5 feet. So I could have done it that way if I wanted to, or I could have done it the unit weight, rate. Me personally, I prefer unit rate because once I find the unit rate, I could pretty much figure out any number. Let's go ahead and take a look at another problem now. A scale drawing of a room is shown below. Find the length and width of the actual room. Show in the scale drawing, shown in the scale drawing. Then find the area of the actual room. Round your answer to the nearest length. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out the unit rate. Then I'm gonna convert all of those inches into feet using my scale. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and find the area. So here is my scale. I have three inches for every eight feet. I need to figure out my unit rate for one feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide by three, and I'm gonna go ahead and divide by three. So eight divided by three is gonna give me 2.66666 repeated. So I could just run it to 2.67, or I could say one feet. I know 2.666 is gonna be two and two thirds. I could also equate that to three times two, which is six, plus two is eight. So I could say that that's eight thirds as well. Eight thirds feet. So at this point, you just use whichever one you're comfortable with, with fractions or with decimals. I'm gonna go ahead and use fractions for this example. I mean, decimals for this example. Uh, this is inches, okay. Now, I wanna figure out how many feet are in five inches for the scale. So I'm gonna multiply by five, and then I'm gonna multiply by five. So five multiplied by 2.67 is gonna give me 13.35. It does say to round to the nearest tenth, so I'm just gonna equate that to 13.4. Okay, so that's one of them. One inch is equal to 2.67 feet. I have 6.5 inches, so I'm going to multiply this by 6.5. So then I'm going to multiply 2.67 by 6.5. So 6.5 multiplied by 2.67 is going to give me a value of 17.355. Once again, I'm just going to go ahead and round that to the nearest tenth, so it's going to be 17.4 once I go ahead and round up. Now, my area is going to be equal to 13.4 multiplied by 17.4. Okay, so 13.4 multiplied by 17.4 is going to give me an answer of 233.16 feet squared. And that would be my area. So once again, find a unit rate. If it's a decimal, to decide whether you want to use a decimal or fraction. Then you could go ahead and equate that unit rate into its actual size and then go ahead and find your area. Let's try another example. This one has no drawing, so it looks like we're going to go ahead, go ahead and draw this one out. So. The drawing plan for Art Studios shows a rectangle that is 13.2 inches by 6 inches. And it seems like I have a scale of 3 inch to every 5 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and find our unit rate. 3 inches to every 5 feet. I need to figure out how much is for 1 inch. So I'm going to divide by 3. And I'm going to go ahead and divide by 3. So 5 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 1.66666 repeated. So I'll round it to 1.67, or I know for sure that th this is going to be 1 and 2 thirds. So it's equivalent to 3 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 5, 5 over 3. So 5 over 3 feet. Okay? Since I used decimals in our last example, I'll just go ahead and use fractions here in this example. So here's my unit rate. I have one inch for every five-third of a foot. 
or every 1.66666 feet. Now, I have six inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this by six, and then I'm gonna multiply this by six. So you can see what I'm doing. I have five over three multiplied by six. Go ahead and put a one over here. I know that six times five is 30. Three times one is three. So 30 divided by three is equal to 10. So this is gonna be 10 feet, okay? Keep in mind, if I would have done the decimal, I probably would not have gotten a, a perfect 10. I would have had to round. That's why in a lot of, in, in some instances, it's better to use fractions than decimals. But if you round your answer to the nearest tenth, it'll turn out pretty much the same. So we have one inch now for five over three feet. So I need to figure out how much this is for 13.2 feet. So I'm gonna multiply one by 13.2, and then I'm gonna multiply five over three by 13.2. Now, once again, I'll do that off to the side. Five over three times 13.2 over one. So 13.2 multiplied by five is gonna give me a total of 66 over three. Now, 66 divided by three is just equal to 22. So we have 22 feet, okay? Now, area is equal to length times width my length is going to be 22 in this case, and my width is going to be 10. So area is equal to 22 times 10, which is 220 feet squared. All right, let's move on to our final example. So this one is, is a little bit different. We're going to be drawing in different scales. Okay, so let's figure out what this actually means. I have a scale drawing of a meeting hall and it is drawn on a centimeter grid paper as shown. So the scale is one to three as of now. My scale is gonna be one centimeters to three meters. I wanna change my scale from one centimeter to six meters, okay? So suppose I'm going to redraw the rectangle on a grid paper using a scale of one to six. In the new scale, one centimeter is going to represent more than the one centimeter in the old scale, right? Because one centimeter used to mean three meters. Now it's going to mean six meters. So it's more than the old scale. So the measure of each of the new drawings will be half as long as the measurement of the original drawing. It's going to be half because I'm doubling this. So my measurements are going to be smaller. If I were to go from about, let's say, one centimeter is equal to four meters, and then one centimeter is equal to two meters, here I'm going to multiply my scale by two. But for here, I'm doing it in reverse. I'm going to divide my scale by two. So that means for my new scale, for my one centimeter to six meter scale, this right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be eight centimeters. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six centimeters. I need to half that now. So eight is going to turn into four. One, two, three, four. And then six is going to turn into three because I'm divided by two. One, two, three. So this would be the dimensions of my new drawing. This is going to be four centimeters to three centimeters. And that's it.